Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on Radar Chart Report Item. Before getting into this video, let me give a small introduction about the Radar Chart. The Radar Chart allows you to display multivariate data, in the form of a two-dimensional chart of three or more quantitative variables, represented on axes starting from the same point. In this video, we will see how to add the Radar Chart Report item to an RDL report, and how to change its properties. First, let's create a new report. Create a new report, and name it Radar Chart Report. You can learn how to create your first report, from the link provided in this video's description. Then, create a data set to assign data in the chart. Create a new data source, name it Show Details using the SQL Data Connector. And click the Connect button to create a new data set. Name it Show Dataset. And click the Finish button. A dataset is created. I have provided the video link for creating a data source and dataset using the SQL Data Connector and the documentation link for the SQL query in this video's description. Now, let's add the radar chart to the report. Drag and drop the radar chart from the item panel on the designer surface. You will also see the properties displayed. Since we can assign any value from the database to the radar chart report item, the data tab is enabled. The name field represents the name of the radar chart. The properties are classified into 13 categories based on the usage. You can also change the size of the radar chart by extending its corners and by dragging the points at the center. I resize the radar chart according to my requirement. Now let's assign data to the radar chart. To assign data, click Data in the Properties panel. The Data panel will open and you will see the data set fields displayed. If you have multiple datasets, you can select the dataset you require by using the dataset dropdown. The numeric columns and numeric expressions are listed in the measures section. And the remaining types of expressions and dimensions are listed in the dimension section. Drag and drop the unit price field from the measures section to the Y value section. By default, the sum aggregate function will be applied to the expression. You can change the aggregate function by clicking the settings button. The context menu will be displayed by clicking the aggregate option. The list of aggregate methods will be displayed. You can also change the aggregate function using the expression option by selecting the expression option. The expression dialog will be displayed. Click the Preview button. You will see the radar chart with the sum of the unit price. Click the Design button. Then I drag and drop the Show Name field from the Dimensions section on E-Column section. On Preview, the Show Name is measured against the sum of the unit price. You can group the fields by adding the fields in the row section. I drag and drop the box name field from the dimensions section on the rows section. While assigning each field, the chart will be refreshed in the design area. On preview, you will see the show name grouped based on the box name field and measured against the sum of the unit price. Now let's format the radar chart. To format the radar chart, click properties. The property panel will be displayed. Under the appearance category, I change the border style to double. Border color to black. And the thickness of the border to 1.833. Under the chart area category, I enable the show border property. The border property is displayed. I change the border color to black border thickness to 2. 
For this demo, I'm going to add custom colors to the radar chart. I select the chart palette property custom. The fields to enter the custom color is displayed. Click the edit icon next to custom color property. The custom color panel is displayed. Click add. The fields to enter the color value is displayed. I select the vivid orange color. In the same way add the four remaining colors. Click the update button. Under the title category, I enter unit price for each show. The title changes accordingly. Under the no data category, I enter no data to display. Under the page break category, I enable the page number reset property. Under the miscellaneous category, I set the tooltip value to unit price report. Click the preview button. You will see the radar chart is rendered in the report viewer control. When hovering over the radar chart, you will see the text entered in the tooltip property displayed. And when hovering over each edge, the show name and the sum of the tickets sold in each box displayed in the tooltip. In this video, I showed you how to add the radar chart to the report designer control and how it is rendered in the report viewer control while previewing it. We have also planned another video that explains the properties of the chart report item. Stay tuned to this channel for our upcoming videos on bold reports. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.